Hi everybody, I'm Morgan Crosby from Finch Chevrolet in London, Ontario, Canada, and you're watching Cars and Crosby. I'm at one of my little favorite places to hang out. I just love the, uh, the little atmosphere here, and I've got Canada's finest little flying poop machines over here loading up to get ready to see you guys down south because we've got frost. Oh man, <laughs> I don't think I'm ready for that. Uh, we're we're going to shoot an episode, or I'm going to talk to you guys about an episode that I shot down at Carlisle. There's a gentleman by the name of Dave who entered his Zeus Bronze Corvette and the NCCC judging that was down there. There was 175 Corvettes this year that were in the event, and his specific Corvette won Best in Show for Street, and it was third overall in the entire event. And it really goes to show you an attention to detail on these new C8s that I haven't really seen um, to that level. And then right across from it was another Zeus Bronze, and then beside that was a Torch Red that was done very well as, as well. Um, these three C8s were all in the same area and they really deserved an episode on their own. So I've shot that episode. I'm going to put it together for you guys and hopefully that gives you some design inspo as it definitely did for me in terms of taking a color and then picking a secondary color to go with that and just going to the nth degree and making it all make sense and come together as one awesome Corvette. So hope you guys enjoy this. We're going to go down to South to Carlisle now. I think I found something that I really want to make sure that you guys take your notebooks out and take a lesson from. David here has a Zeus Bronze C8 and there is a lot to unpack on this. One of the things that I like to talk about most on my channel is having something that's a feast for the eyes that doesn't really come at you. And this is a really, really good example at making your car look unique but not doing it in a very ostentatious way. And another thing that I really enjoy about this car is that the more that you look at it, the more you're starting to see more features that really stand out. You know, he's had edge red calipers, but then he's taken the valve covers and he's also matched them up. He's even gone and put an embroidered C8 Twins Flags logo on the headliner or the headrest. Then we got some pinstriping over in the rear deck here that matches all the other things that he's trying to do. The edge red engine cover matches the calipers. Overall, his tertiary color on this Corvette is absolutely bar none on point. And one of the things that I think is best about this earthy tone Zeus bronze is that it needs some vibrancy. It needs a little pop. You know, it needs a, a one-two punch. And, and that has really been done well on this specific model. I think that this owner should be proud of what he's done. And if you guys are looking at doing an earthy tone with your vehicle, there's some inspiration in this vehicle. Congratulations, David, on having a great Corvette. Okay, I thought I was all zeus out for the day, but I'm not. Lightning strikes twice. And this here, guys, is a feast for the eyes. I absolutely love Morello Red, but it's, it's, a, it's a tough sell if you don't know what you're doing. And it's not for every color, but you don't see this every day, guys. Zeus Bronze was a one-off color. Morello Red is a 3LT option, so right off the bat, if you're not looking at having a high price point, this is gonna be a color that's not attainable. But Zeus Bronze with Morello Red, check it out. Now Cliff here, who owns this vehicle, he's been designing some aero work for it. And he was telling me that this is his Grand Sport aero package that he's going on here. Again, attention to detail, check out this grill in here. He's painted it to the color of the interior. And I looked at this for a couple minutes and until you know I got down here, check out this aero piece over here. It's functional. I absolutely love that kind of stuff and I'm really proud that they were able to showcase this and that I was able to see it because this is one heck of a Corvette. They gotta be proud of this thing because this Morello Red is something else. All right, great minds think alike and AJ here has got 
an AWE exhaust on his and he went with the touring as well and uh, you know what AJ was just telling me about how much he enjoys this over the stock exhaust and it made me really feel great about my purchase that I made a couple of hours ago it's on the car now so there's no going back and I've got a nice ride ahead of me to go home another thing that AJ has done is he's got the RSC uh, ducktail or as we call it the speed tail up in Canada and I dig it man it's a it's a good look AJ, you've also done the same rap as me too. Yes, sir. No way. So he's complimented what a lot of people do with the um, the convertibles where you can paint the nacelles in the top. And AJ followed the exact same line that I did when I was wrapping the top. It's really hard to pick a line on the coupe and you want to go with it. And he decided like I did to go with the window line. And then if that wasn't enough, AJ's also done Voss and rims like I have on mine and he's gone with the same setup and these are the HF2s that are done in gold. Now gold on a car hopefully doesn't remind you of a Subaru WRX. This doesn't for me. The Torch Red is doing well. He's got the plate to go with it and some ACS composite tow hooks. This is a really cool build and I, it caught me off guard. I thought this was a hard top convertible until I looked a little bit more at it and I love that. It's a very cool build. AJ, you should be proud of yourself, man. Very cool build. Pretty neat, eh? Uh, there's a lot of little things that really add up to making a great car on those. And I hope that there was some things that you can take away from that that you maybe didn't know that you could do to your Corvette. You know, that was the great thing about Dave's Corvette is there was a lot of areas that he had accented that I've never even thought to, to accent. And then seeing the interior combination with Morello, um, that to me was another really cool uh, thing to look at. And then all the AWE exhaust upgrades and stuff that were on the other one. You got to love it. I, 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 great minds think alike. So I'm going to feature that anytime I can. So hope that helped you guys out. We got three more days until the Z06 release uh, happens. And uh, I'm really excited to hear your guys' feedback and live commentary. We're going to have a really busy day on the 26th. So that's Tuesday. And I hope you guys enjoy it. So we're going to do, uh, try to do at least with the technology that I have in my, in my disposal, a live stream. And then after that, we're going to do a review later on in the evening when, when some people may be uh, coming back from work or maybe have some time to be able to get it done. I'm Morgan Crosby from Finch Chevrolet, and happy motoring.